Welcome to Ms. Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. And for our returning viewers, thank you for your continued support. And please support me by sending a little super thanks. MetLife Stadium, located in East Rutherford, New Jersey, is the home of the New York Jets and New York football giants. It is one of the largest stadiums in the NFL with a capacity of 82,500. MetLife Stadium hosts the world's biggest events on the world's biggest stage and will serve as a host stadium for the 2026 FIFA World Cup. MetLife Stadium has hosted over 550 major events and 3,000 special events. Event highlights include the first outdoor, cold weather Super Bowl 48, and another exciting weekend for Monster Energy AMA Supercross. The series has made its way up the East Coast from Atlanta Motor Speedway and they're back inside a traditional stadium, and a big one at that. MetLife in East Rutherford, New Jersey, is not far from New York City this night it will be home to be another round of the Eli Tomac Cooper Webb for the 23 title as well as the first ever East-West Showdown where two brothers are holding the two red plates. Honda HRC teammates Hunter and Jet Lawrence have been dominating their respective regions, and now they will finally race together for the first time since last summer. This matchup of the brothers means one of them is going to lose for only the second time this season that's how good they've been so far. Chase Sexton scored his third win of the season and fourth of his 450 SX class career when he crossed the checkers at Atlanta Motor Speedway. He was making his 40th start and nabbed his 21st podium and 30th top 5 finish of his 450 SX class career. Sexton is 17 points behind the red plate which is still considered in the mix with three races left. Justin Barcia has tied his career record of three straight podium finishes that he set in 2014 after a runner-up finish in Atlanta. A podium in East Rutherford could break his all-time podium streak and tie his career high in podiums from last season. Two more podiums will break his personal record of podiums in a season. Already considered an elite supercross racer, Ken Roxanne has elevated that conversation becoming just the 11th rider with 60 podiums and 10th rider with 85 top 5 finishes in 450 SX class history. This is after a third place finish in Atlanta. Roxanne has also tied Willeman for 19th all time in 450 SX class starts with 129. Tomac, now standing in the lead at 6-point advantage, seemed nowhere near as focused as he was at Glendale, and the Tomac-specific defensive riding strategy that Webb employed on on Saturday is not going to get him to the number one position either. If these guys aren't careful, Chase Sexton might just turn this back into a three-way chase he's only 17 points behind Eli. Next stop, the Garden State and one step closer to the crown. Will Tomac triumph, or get caught in Cooper's web? And this is a good story that we bring to all viewers, if you like, press like, press share, press subscribe so you won't miss clips from us.